View at 10, small town grocery stores with empty shelves. 7 News reporter Jacqueline Allen started investigating Bella's Market in Akron last month. And since then, people have been contacting us from all over the state about the same problem with the same company. We wanted to know why. On Colorado's eastern plains, well, it's affecting all of our communities. Farmers may produce fresh food, but if there's a Bella's Market in town, all too often they can't buy any. The folks just want to be able to buy groceries. It's simple. This is the lunch meat section. There's no lunch meat. After we exposed the problem here in Akron last month, it became clear it wasn't isolated. We went undercover in Wiggins at another Bella's Market to find shelves are bare there, too. Samira Enriquez works at a restaurant across the street but has a 30-mile round trip to buy food for her family. I have two babies, so I need milk very often. And they don't have it. This used to all be full. This phone video from a viewer in Haxton shows the same problem at Bella's there. In the city of Lyman, the Bella's looked a little different. Our undercover video shows shelves have been partially restocked after a community meeting last week to discuss bringing in a new store. How many companies have approached you saying we're interested? Two. You've had two companies say we would like to open a grocery store in Lyman? Yes, within the past 30 days that are not big box names. All the Bella's markets have one thing in common. They're owned by Denver businessman Sam Mancini. His company declaring bankruptcy in 2012 has been in legal battles ever since. Mancini wouldn't talk to us on camera, but in an email said he had planned to restock his stores by the end of the year. But he accuses his landlord, the previous owner, of trying to get the stores back through the legal process, explaining that makes it difficult to invest in the stores. Still, he told the crowd in Lyman their store will be restocked by August 1st. They're not interested in the details of the legal battle. They just want to be able to go to the grocery store and find what they need. Because of the ongoing lawsuit and the promise of restocking, other companies are reluctant to invest in a second grocery store in these small towns. That uncertainty, that one grocery company, is keeping people in rural Colorado in food limbo. Jacqueline Allen, 7 News. The people in Akron did meet last week, and they're forming a committee to look at options, ranging from starting a food co-op to getting grants for a new store. We will keep you posted on whether the Lyman store is fully stocked by August 1st.